warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi good students, welcome to the assessment in science class Today we are going to discuss about the test item analysis by using SPSS There are four activities for today The first one, check the validity index The second one, reliability index And the third one, difficulty index And the last, discrimination index Good luck! The first, please come to your Google form and let's download by click this menu. Click download response. And then save file. You need to extract of your download result by right click and then extract files click OK ok so we have new folder in here please double click ok so this is our result this is our result so there are some informations in here the first one timestamp and then total score school uh, name gra uh, grade and then gender but we we will only focus on students answer in here in my test item for the correct answer should be for score 5 and 0 for incorrect answer so let's eliminate there are two ways to eliminate the first one you can save as into excel or you can open the new tab in excel excel in here and let's copy paste ctrl a in your keyboard and then ctrl c and then let's uh, ctrl v okay, this one so let's eliminate uh, column A, B, C, D, E We have finished to eliminate the result So there are two uh, parts in here The first one, students Student and the second one, question identity This one Q1 up to Q20 so that's mean I have 20 questions and here student student 1 up to 339 respondents so in SPSS for the correct answer should be 1 and incorrect answer 0 so we can control F in your keyboard and then let's replace for example this one you can copy paste copy and then paste 0 0.00 and then slash 5 so that means uh, this student's answer is incorrect right so replace with 0 click replace all Okay, so we have 3,100 replacements Okay, and the next, another one for the correct answer You can copy paste Copy and paste And then please replace with 1 And then click replace all Okay, we have 3,090 replacement Okay, and then don't forget to save Control S for submitting our data into SPSS, please make sure in your Excel, no student ident identity and no questions identity. So, this is only 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and 1. 
uh, only zero and one. This is uh, related uh, with the student answer. No student identity, no question identity. P please remove about the student's identity and question identity, and please make sure only student answer. Let's start to practice by using SPSS. So, for input our data, there are two ways. The first one, you can copy paste from your Excel, or you can click by menu, file, and then open data, and then please find out your data, and then you can open. After input your data, let's check in here. Uh, there are two parts. The first one, data view. The second one, variable view. Let's check the variable view. Okay, so the name still FAR000222, right? So this is belongs to our question identity. You can change Q1. This is uh, belongs to question 1, question 2, question 3. So in the column name we have Q1 question 1 up to Q20 question 20 so also this is uh, will be changed into data view this one Q20 up to you can drag let's see in here so Q1 Let's start to check the validity index by click analyze and then correlate and then bivariate. Once again, analyze, correlate, and bivariate. Click and then please move Q1 up to Q20 into variables by Ctrl A in your keyboard and then move K person for the correlation, which is person, and then OK. Okay, so this is the result. So there are three uh, parts for each question, person correlation and then significance, significance to tail and number. Number does belong to your sample number. My sample uh, 339, so please make sure. Okay, this one. So we have uh, sign in here, two stars. That means correlation is significant at the 0 0.01 level or to tail. And then one correlation is significant at the 0 0.05 level to tail. For checking your question is valid or no, let's see. This is the conclusion in the like. Okay, so uh, if you see two stars or one star sign, that means your, your question is valid. For example, this one. This is question number one. This is number one. Number number one, uh, the first layer person correlation. The second uh, to tail significance to tail and number. Okay, let's see this one zero point two five three. So this is valid for the fat. Uh, for the persons and this is 0 0.000 this is significant levels to tail to tail that mean the significance 0 0.01 because two star sign two stars in here that's related with the significant at the 0 0.01 so valid that mean the result in here 0 0.000 that is below 0 0.01 so valid is less than 0 0.01 or if you see the uh, star only one one star and it's valid that mean your score below or less than 0 0.05 okay let's check one by one question one up to question 20 and let's recap in the table one the next, let's check the reliability index by click analyze and then scale and then reliability analysis. Once again, please click analyze and then scale and then reliability analysis. Click okay for the Q1 up to 
Q20 please move by Ctrl A in your keyboard and then move and statistic click choose scale if item deleted so this is uh, for giving us the information which the test item that recommend by SPSS to be delayed to improve our reliability and also in inter item please click correlation okay and then please continue click ok okay so let's see this is the result the reliability let's see the chrome alpha based on the standardized items and this is chrome alpha so our score for reliability index for our package of the test item is 0 0.844 okay so to sum up our reliability index for test item is 0 0.844 that's mean in high category let's continue to check for the difficulty index so please click analyze and then descriptive risk statistic analyze and then descriptive statistics and please choose frequencies once again for checking difficulty index please come to the menu analyze and then descriptive statistics and frequencies click and then please move the question by ctrl a in your keyboard okay in statistic please click mean and continue and please click OK so the result let's see in mean mean uh, for example this is Q1 mean for Q1 0 0.8879 for uh, mean for Q2 0 0.374 and 6 and category uh, will be divided by three the first one 0, 0.00 up to 0, 0.2 that's difficult and then 0, 0.21 up to 0, 0.7 that's the medium and 0, 0.71 up to 1 that's easy so that's mean for example q1 mean 0 0.8879 so that's mean this question question one will be category to be easy questions okay please explore the another questions and please recap uh, what's the mean and what's the category to be your questions The last, let's see the discrimination index from your questions. The way is same with the validity index. So please click analyze and then correlate and then bivariate. Analyze, correlate and bivariate. Click and then move your question and then OK. Okay, but for the discrimination index, let's see focus on person correlation. For example, this one, uh, Q uh, Q1 question number one, the person correlation is 0 0.295. Like right? so, there are at least in general there are three categories. The first one, zero up to zero one nines this test item will be rejected okay and 0 0.2 up to uh, 0 0.39 this should be accepted but need revisions and more than 0 0.4 up to 1 so 
This test item will be a step directly, no need to revise. So, in general, there are three categories, uh, rejected, uh, revision, and directly accepted. So, please explore one by one. Thank you very much for your hard effort to practice how to use SPSS for analyzing the test item based on your trial testing on junior high school students. Hopefully, this experience can support your research in the future. And good luck! Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh! Bye bye!